Let's take a look at organizing and sorting your images. In the Chapter 4 folder, I have an iPhone Images folder. And inside there, every image has the same name. What I'd like to do is give them more meaningful names to me. So I'm going to start by sliding the content area to bigger thumbnails. Down on the lower right, now I can see I have a sunset image driving into the Embarcadero. So I'm going to click the first image and Shift-click the last image. I don't need to click Shift-click, Shift-click. It will select from first to last using the Shift key. Under the Tools menu, I'll choose Batch Rename. And this is Sunset Embarcadero. I could move it or copy it to another folder, but I'm going to do that myself in Bridge. So for now, I'm just renaming all in the same folder. And there are three files being processed. I will start at sequence number of one. It always remembers the last number of images you renamed, so I must have renamed 19 because it was starting at 20. When I click Rename, they resort alphabetically because under the View menu is Sort by file name. But you could sort by all kinds of things. I could sort by date created. And if I take a peek at the metadata panel on one of these images, this rainbow shot that I selected was taken on 3.30.13, the sunset 4.2.13. So it's sorting oldest to newest. But I'll go back to view sort by file name. In the next series, these are all daytime shots along the Embarcadero. So in this case, I clicked the last one, and I'll shift-click the first one. And now it grabbed 19 items, all of them in between. So under my Tools menu, Batch Rename, I'm just going to name this Embarcadero, which is a meaningful name to me. I really don't like seeing images that are IMG or DSC something I want a name that is searchable on my hard drive as my image library gets bigger and bigger. Giving your images meaningful file names makes it so much easier to find what you're looking for. So I will click Rename. And then I'll finish off with this rainbow shot. I have never seen a rainbow in the city of San Francisco in the 12 or 13 years I've lived here. So I selected iPhone images 4 to 6 by clicking on 4. Shift clicking on 6, and I'll go to Tools, Batch Rename, and rename this rainbow San Francisco. So I'll hit Rename. Now they're all named, and I'd like to organize. I have my own workspace which puts folders in front of favorites so I can see exactly where my images are. And since most of these are the Embarcadero images, I'll click once on iPhone images and change the name to Embarcadero. And there are two that fall in the same category, the sunset and then all the daytime shots. I'm going to make another folder for the rainbow. And I want it to be in the Chapter 4 folder in Image Editing. So I'll click on Chapter 4 or 04 Image Editing. And I'll choose File, New Folder. And Bridge is actually making folders anywhere I choose, anywhere on my hard drive. It's not a separate directory. It's not copying anything. It is moving exactly as if I'm moving these and making folders from my operating system. So I will name this Rainbow. And now, in the Embarcadero folder, I'll click once on any image and hit the letter R. The letter R for rainbow took me to the first rainbow shot. I'll shift click to get all three, and I'll drag them over to the rainbow folder. And I'm almost finished organizing. If I scroll back up, I might want to name this image something else. So I'm going to switch to my Kelly workspace, which has all of my panels that I frequently use down here on the lower left. And if I hit Preview and double-click the word Folders, I could see a much larger preview without having to zoom in. 
So this is a water fire hydrant, I think. So I'm going to name this hydrant or embarcadero hydrant. I'll leave the embarcadero 01, but I'm adding the word hydrant. So it's searchable if I search my hard drive for images with a specific name. So Bridge will let me individually rename files by just clicking once on their name itself. And so here we have a fire truck and a boy. I might add fire truck to it. And I'll put a space between those or instead an underscore. So now with Bridge, I've created my own folders. I can double click on folders to see it again of Rainbow and Embarcadero, and I've batch renamed three different sets of images. I can finish this off by reviewing images. So let's just select all of the images. Under Edit, select All. Now I might decide which ones I want to use for a given project. So under View is Slideshow. And I like this fire hydrant. I like the overall composition. I like the green color that my eye is drawn to. And if the slideshow goes too fast, my left arrow key will take me back so I could evaluate this more. There might be distracting objects like cigarette butts that I want to remove or things that would pull focus at the corners. But I'm just evaluating now. I'll hit my right arrow key. And if I look between these two shots, this one was taken a little bit lower this one, I think I have a better angle on the bridge. I'll have to decide which angle I find more compelling. I like that the bridge is higher in the shot and the composition of it overall. But there's another photographer getting a similar shot, and so I would probably remove this distracting element from the left. So out of these two, I'll decide which ones I want to work on or publish just by hitting the number four or five when I like a shot. This is given a four star rating, and I might not use this one at all, or maybe I'll reevaluate later. I'm going to hit escape, but that is my evaluation process. And if your icons in the content area, or technically called thumbnails, are large enough, you could actually apply your own ratings just by clicking below an image. So again, I might be deciding between this tugboat shot and this tugboat shot. And I really do think I like this one better, although I might do a slightly different crop on it. So I could give this one a four star and maybe decide not to use this one at all. So that is how I would rate or review. You could use View Slideshow, or you could simply preview each one in the preview window and attach a star rating just by clicking below the bottom of the image. So in this shot, there was four of the father and child, one where the child's in the middle. And these three are similar, so now I'm deciding on the composition of all three, and maybe this is the one I want to go for. So take some time, grab some batches of your own images, give them useful, meaningful names on your own, and attach star ratings and organize them into folders that you can find where you'd like to keep them on your own hard drive. This has been organizing, sorting, filing, and rating your images using Adobe Bridge, which comes with Photoshop.